Hey, good morning, everyone. Jesse here. Hop, oh, we're gonna go into Tarje, do a little die cast hunting, hoping to find some fresh Hot Wheels. Hoping to find the Hot Wheels Car Culture two packs with the Night Riders. I think there's a, a, a Nissan set in there. I think there's like a Lancia or something like that. Anyways, uh, maybe with an Audi. Um, and there's also Auto World four packs that are now dropping at Target. So of course they're not ringing up at the register from what I've heard, but uh, let's see what we can find. Let's get to it. Thanks for tuning in. There's one of the, that's not the super though. I'm pretty sure if you can check it. But yeah, show you how it is. Okay, it's dropping. Oh, no, that's McLaren. Oh, oh, this, oh this that's the Lambo. That's what else. That's the Lambo game. Yep. Yeah. I think that's the carryover there. Uh, but yeah. Mm, that's different. Ooh, sweet. Cruising through here. Got the, was it, El Camino? Yep. Nice. Nice. Of course, you got some carryovers. That kind of stuff. All kind of good stuff up in here. So, new, I think, is that a recolor? That's the. No, it's a Honda. Yep. Cool. Nice. Mm. And it looks pretty well hit, but you never know. It's still fun to go through. Of course, you got all the. Yeah, that's McLaren. Yeah. Nice. Check out the uh, Lamborghini. Dang. Which one is the one that's gonna be the super? Or that or the no, other? Okay. That's the uh, Lamborghini. The other Lamborghini I just showed you. Check out the uh, recolor of the Nissan Silvia. Nice. I'm gonna show them. Uh, watch out. Check out the two packs. Night Rider. I mean, oh yeah, a lot of people are gonna be chasing these Nissans. So hit up your hit up your targets. All right, last but not least is the um, the Lancia and the Audi. There it is. There are your three packs, as well as an Ingo. No, that's new color. New color in the Nissan Proto, which kind of um, matches the. The double pack a little bit. Yeah. So there you go. That, you had that from last place? Uh, yeah, might be carrier or maybe a new color. I'm not sure. But that's sweet. So. I guess some of this is J. And then yeah, it's going to be some carryovers, but some nice ones. You can get that one up there. That's a new something or another. I can't see anything up there. We'll, uh, we'll go through it. But... And this one's pretty well hit, I think, but still some nice ones. You got the. Ooh, recolor of that. That's gold. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Um, please, you know, we've seen these carryovers. So if you saw my last peg hunt, you saw the a lot of these are carryover. Oh, this is carryover. I don't remember if that's a new one or not. But um, a lot of this is carryover stuff. But that one's uh, maybe carryover. I'm not sure. Don't know if that might be carryover. Pretty cool. Well, let's go over here while you're over there. You can make sure that I'm not missing anything over there. There's some new five packs coming out, but I don't think this one's pretty. They're kind of low on five packs, so I don't think we're gonna see the new five packs. Well, I haven't seen that at Nightburner five pack in a minute. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, a little fantasy. Oops. No. A little fantasy stuff. But yeah. color in the Mazda RX-7. Definitely hit up your Targets or Walmarts or wherever you're finding, of course, your newest Hot Wheels, but if you're wanting the two packs, you're gonna be finding these at Target. So hit up your Target. That's sweet. Good find the love. We keep going through, make sure we're gonna check around here. It's like... Okay. So. Get out of here and see what they've got for uh, Johnny Lightning and stuff. Um, I don't think we're gonna find any white lightnings, but it's like anything tells somebody that we've been through. What's going on? Oh, you're good, man. You're good. But, um, yeah, no. no white lightnings, but it's all good. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. Pretty cool, pretty cool. So hit up your uh, hit up your targets for the new two packs as well as any Hot Wheels that might be dropping. A lot of uh, kind of fantasy stuff and carryovers. Again, if you want to see some of these, definitely hit up. Of course, that's a new one, but our new color. But uh, that one may be a new color as well. I don't know. That was carryover. But you can check out my last pack hunt if you're interested in seeing some of these JKs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, real quick, a little recap. Uh, some of the things you can be finding at your targets, uh, as well as, you know, maybe Walmarts eventually. I don't know if these Auto World 4 packs will be showing up at Walmart. No, they will not be showing up at Walmart. They are Target exclusive. You'll see in a minute once I pick up the uh, the 4 pack, uh, it does say Target exclusive on the very bottom, uh, which I failed to obviously read and uh, take note in. So, with that being said, Target exclusive. Just FYI. Where you're finding those, but I haven't seen those yet myself in my area. But uh, you've got version A and then version B. And that's version A right here with the, the black uh, IROC Z. Uh, those right there, those four. And then of course you've got version B right here, um, which is you know, your white IROC in those colors right there. But I'll put a little side by side for you. Um, I kind of favor the, the black um, four pack right here with the IROC right here, this version A. But, um, I don't know, that's just me. I like the, again, the darker colors and, of course, the, that metallic color on the, the Buick looks really good. But, uh, I don't know. They're both really, really nice. I like the, the Viper color on this four-pack, though. And they're about 20 bucks each at Target. Now, when we went to check out when we first found them, they weren't ringing up. So, if you uh, are at Target and find these, you may want to take a picture of, the, of them on the pegs with the, you know, the peg number. Um... You know, for the person that self checkout or wherever you're going to check out, um, you know, they wouldn't actually sell them to my wife. She found the found these first. She went to the store, found them, went to check out, and uh, you know, long story short, the lady at uh, self checkout, you know, oh, these wouldn't ring up. So she's like, she calls the somebody in toys, and the person in toys tells her the price point and everything, and then she decided she wasn't going to sell them after all to my wife. Um, so we end up um, not getting them at that first target. Went to a different target. They, of course, they wouldn't ring up yet again, but different attitude and different outcome. We were able to, you know, enter a number off of the peg, a um, little number on the bottom of the, um, the card on the peg, and uh, they rang up and, uh, you know, no problem. So, it, you know, just depends on what store you go to. Uh, I've also heard people say the same thing that, you know, they were told they couldn't purchase the uh, Walgreens exclusive because they weren't ringing up. They are about a dollar forty dollar, I think, after taxes, almost $1.50 or something like that for the Walgreens exclusive Camaro. And there's only one exclusive for Walgreens. If you're going into Walgreens looking for this, just realize this is the only exclusive. Uh, but definitely a beautiful one. Check that out. I've, uh, I've had some pretty good success and luck finding a good many of the Walgreens exclusives. I've probably found about um, you know eight or nine at least. Uh, I've given a few away to some local buddies or or whatever who hooked me up from time to time so i uh, figured it's all good but with that being said hopefully you're able to hit your targets find these hot wheels car culture two packs if you're interested in the lancia or the um the audi there as well as the nissan proto or the fairlady z the knight rider cars the i think one's the kit and one's the uh car car the k-a-r-r -R, i believe it is let me see yeah i don't know much much about the uh, the second one. I just remember the, the first one from the TV series back from the 80s or early 90s, whenever it stopped airing. And of course, you've got the main lines. I probably quickly rushed through some of them in the store. And so if I didn't do the most thorough job on the hunts, I do apologize. But definitely some nice recolors. I like that Mazda RX-7. Definitely a beautiful one. Um, so I'll kind of quickly go over it again. I know I'm not doing the most thorough job here. And this one I actually thought was the 4 GT in store. It is not a new color for the 4 GT. This is actually a new McLaren. And yes, you can laugh at me, that's cool. But uh, it's a new casting for the McLaren. Uh, it's McLaren Elva, I believe it is, if, that's, if I said that correctly. But 
definitely hit up your store for L case. And some of these are, I think, carryover. Like this one might have been from J or K case. But it's an Aston Martin, pretty nice. I like the, the wheels and the concepts. Looks good. <clears throat> A little speedster there. Um, of course, you've got the Nissan Z Proto. I did a little comparison already in the store, but uh, definitely a sweet one right there. I love the wheels on that. Uh, it's a beautiful one, new for 2022. Um, the Lamborghini definitely looks awesome. The color reminds me of the, there was a Lamborghini, I think it was in the moving parts or the, uh, not the Matchbox Collectors, but maybe it was the, I think it's the moving parts. But of course it was like more of an off-road edition than this one, but Similar color, I thought. I'll have to do a comparison, maybe. Uh, but, of course, different looks and all that, but probably a different Lamborghini altogether. But still, the color kind of reminded me of that one. Um, this one is probably a, one of my favorites of the L case, and that was because I found out, actually, Ryo Sot actually drove in a Honda S2000 in real life. Um, so I don't know if it was modeled the same color as his or not, but it is a Ryo Sot tribute car, so that's really awesome. So hopefully you're able to find that. A lot of nice details in these. I don't believe it's just a recolor, if I'm not mistaken. But uh, you got a lot of nice uh, recolors, like the El Camino. Get the chrome base. Another recolor in the Chevelle SS wagon with a chrome base also. A little chrome front bumper and back bumper. So hopefully you're able to find that in red with the black pinstriping. Getting a lot of nice uh, recolors, like the McLaren. Um, of course, you've got the mainline version of the Super, what would be the Super for L case, the Lamborghini Miura SV. I probably butchered the name, so sorry if I got that uh, wrong. But uh, of course your Lamborghini, your Super is gonna have Spectre Flame paint with the Real Riders and all that good stuff, so. And of course you'll have a Circle Flame logo behind the car that you don't see there, because that's just the mainline. Um, and of course you've got some fancy ones, of course. You've got a recolor of the Honda I mean, not the Honda, but the uh, Nissan Silvia. And a couple of fantasy ones that are kind of cool. And I think my brother-in-law is going to like these a lot. So hopefully you're able to find them as well. So that's just my encouragement. There's still, of course, a lot of things I didn't get to show you because I don't have them on my possession in my collection. Like the newest uh, wave of um, Target Red Editions. Uh, the, one, the last one I've seen was the one with the Silverado. Um, and the Honda Civic, and I believe it was like the, the Slam van or something like, like like surf shop van or something. You know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I haven't seen any new red editions. I hardly saw any of those. Um, I actually traded a few sets of those away thinking I'd find more because I typically do, but uh, obviously I was mistaken. But um, with that being said, I've hardly saw any red editions in the store. Uh, far and few between. I haven't seen any of the new red editions that uh, I've seen some of y'all post up, I think, on Instagram. Uh, as well as the Zamax. I've not seen Walmart's drop Zamax in quite a while. Uh, they're long overdue. I can't recall what case they're dropping with, but definitely hit up your Walmarts, your Targets for Red Editions, your Walmarts for Zamax, uh, your Walgreens for exclusives. Uh, another one is Dollar General. Has, there was a few posts in some local groups, uh, a few people in like very south, I think, Georgia, found some Dollar General exclusives and things dropping. But uh, I've been hitting like Dollar Generals and I've got buddies who've been hitting Dollar Generals and there's not a hide or hair of Dollar General exclusives to be found. Um, and most of the Dollar Generals haven't even dropped Hot Wheels in quite a while. I found one store finally the other day and, uh, and if you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen the uh, funny post of the Kafer Racer with the, the gold duck outside of uh, Dollar General. Um, I found uh, like some fresh G case at Dollar General, but outside of that one store, it's been very, very dry at Dollar Generals. A lot of them, are, I think, are struggling to get stock in for one reason or the other. Dollar Trees are the same. It's either hit or miss. Some Dollar Trees have Hot Wheels, some don't. Um, things like that. It's just, again, it's very sporadic in 2022. So, as I encourage you in the last video, enjoy what you can find. And, uh, you know, don't sweat the small stuff if you can't find the Supers. I, guys, I'm, I'm so far behind on Supers for this year. It, it really is kind of crazy. Um, I haven't found a Super since, I think, before G case, I believe G case might be my last. No, did I have G case? Yeah, like seriously, guys. G what was it H, uh, J, K. Now we're on L case. Uh, I've yet to find any of those, <laughs> so it's getting pretty sad out here for me. For supers, I'm on a dry spell, and 
you know, if I'm on a dry spell, it's, it's getting pretty serious. <laughs> uh, but of course I have slowed down my hunting because again, it's, you know, what, what I've found here, I've, I've hunted pretty hard to find. Um, and it's not something you're just going to walk up, you know, wake up one day and, you know, and just randomly, you know, walk into a store and have this kind of luck. It's, it's, it's hunting hard to find what you can. Uh, cause again, there's a, a lot of collectors out there. There's a lot of scalpers or, you know, resellers if you prefer that phrase or term. But, uh, with that being said, guys, um, you know, enjoy what you can find. If you can't find it, you know, I would encourage you not to jump on eBay. I know it's easier said than done. I, I've, I'm just as guilty. I want to jump on eBay and, and buy those chases and those supers and treasure hunts and things that I can't, you know, necessarily find or, or whatever in store. But I would encourage you honestly to try to, uh, you know, source it through a local collector, maybe through, you know, somebody locally on, you know, if you do Facebook groups or whatever, join some local hot wheel groups in your area. Um, you know, find a, a, you know, trustworthy source on Instagram, somebody that sells them at a re reasonable price or what you consider to be fair, or reasonable, um, uh, things like that. And just, you know, again, try to do those versus, you know, jumping to eBay right away. Cause you know, you could be, you could be, you know, paying a, a collector or you could be paying a, a reseller. And a lot of you complain about resellers, but you know, we're, we're quick to jump the gun and jump on eBay and pay those high prices for something, you know, we could either find, you know, on our own after enough hunting or, you know, get through a, a local collector or, you know, through a better source or cheaper means, you know, through Instagram, uh, maybe Facebook groups or something like that, you know, whatever that looks like for you. But that's just my encouragement to you. But happy hunting. Stay safe. Let me know what you're finding. Um, if you found the uh, Outer World 2 packs, definitely let me know where, where you're seeing those. Are these Target or Walmart? You know, they're, are they going to appear at both or are they... Is it exclusive to one or the other? Um, oh, only a target. Duh. <laughs> only a target. So that answered that question, right? It helps if you look at the packaging. So yes, only a target. So these Auto World 4 packs are only a target. I'm assuming the Auto World 2 packs that are also dropping are probably target exclusive, but definitely let me know. Drop me a comment. And uh, again, I uh, look forward to reading your comments. Thanks for watching and uh, stay safe. Take care, guys.